Hey guys, Relevant Mr. Luminion here, coming back at you with another episode of the Omega Ruby Leg Lock. And I know it's been a while, so I'm going to go over a quick team update. And uh, hopefully there's a layout on this video. And um, question of the day, I guess, is how do you like the layout? Do you like it or do you not like it? And um, that will be updated throughout. Like if a Pokemon dies, it will disappear. If a Pokemon is added, it will get added. But uh... Let's start off. We got Fast Fast and Encada. You can't really see it, but it's got Scratch, Harden, Leech Life, and Sand Attack. We got Simba, the um, Electric, with Lightning Rod, actually. That's pretty good. Thunder Wave, Leer, and Howl, and Quick Attack. And then we got Fishtail here with Rock Tomb's Pursuit, Mega Drain, and Quick Attack. And that is Grovile. So, um. I'm just gonna go ahead and check right now and see what our last capture was. Uh, let's see, this was that cave. This was just the route right above here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure at least. Let's see, this is route 10. So yeah, that was the route right above here. So I'm going to go next encounter. Cannot have four legs. It has to have either five, six, three, or four, three or two. And, uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we're doing a leg lock here. And uh, it's kind of it's kind of an interesting type of nuzlocke because it involves the number of legs. Uh, the rules will be in the description, and also uh, go into the description and check out links to like my Twitter and the collaboration channel I'm on now. So yeah, all those links will be in the description, and so will the uh, the nuzlocke rules. So um, I believe this is the tenth episode, and we have an encounter to get if we had the fishing rod. I think we we don't have actually. I kind of want to go get that. Do, I don't have a bike yet because I'm not in Maville, but, um, obviously I don't have a bike. We're not in Maville. Oh, gosh, just a second. Sorry, uh, like a pop-up came up and messes up the thing for a second. Uh, I don't want to go. Wait, wait, wait. Am I sure I don't have that? Um, because I have to go all the way back to do for that. I don't know what. Oh. Huh. I was thinking logically, we won't need a fishing rod because... The um the fishing Pokemon are like Magikarp and Whalmer and Tentacool and they don't really have legs. But I'm gonna pick up anyway because I know in some routes. Oh, I haven't battled all these guys yet. I know in some routes that you can battle like uh you can get Corefish in the water which have legs and whatnot. This is Machop and we have an Incata, so I think this is quite fine. Depending on the levels. Fast, fast and Incata. Oh yeah, let's see here. Let's see here. We got the Machop level 15. It's a pretty good level. I'm going to switch out into Fishtail. I want. I definitely want to level it fast, fast. So when it evolves, that will be powerful. Very powerful. we got Fishtail here. And I think we're just going to go for a couple Giga Drains. Okay, that did. It didn't do that much. I'm going to go for the Giga... Mega Drain. Sorry, not Giga Drain. I wish we had Giga Drain. Um, because that would be a lot better. But, yeah, we can go ahead and get all that HP back from that Karate Chop. And he's just going to go for another one, which will be all for naught, because he'll be dead next turn. He'll be fainted, actually. Yep, there we go, there we go, there we go. So, I don't think we'll get all of our HP back, but that's completely fine, because we're not really going to be doing any more battles. We just got to go talk to Mr. Brownie over here, so we can sail on the boat. Oh, I really want a defensive move besides Scratch and Leaf Life on this Ninkata. So, I'm going to go ahead and... It's got Scratch, Leaf Life, Harden, Sand Attack. Sand Attack is going to be good. Can I learn any of the teams we have? We have Thief, Rock Tomb, let's see. Echoed Voice. It can learn Cut. I don't necessarily want to teach it that, though. Uh, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Electric can learn Cut, or Thief. Which is actually pretty good, because it needs more variety in moves. Oh, uh, it's got the Electric type attack right now. I don't I don't even remember it said. It's got Thunder Wave. Lear, Howl, and Quick Attack. Ooh, that's a pretty good set. I know it's a special attacker and all, but I want to give it some other attacking move. And I think I want to get rid of Lear. I'd rather have Howl than Lear. And there we go, there we go. There we go. We got our three team members here. Two 11s and a level 20. And level 20 is... We need to, we need to get those others level up to 20. Where are we bound? To Duford. And of course you got your little Pico with you, because why wouldn't you? You're a Mr. Briny. 
Mr. Brownie always says Pico. I like how the boat isn't shown on the way back, but it's shown on the way there. It's like, there's no actual boat. There's just a teleporting boat. Like, that one movie or whatever, the time machine hot tub or whatever, it's kind of like that, but it's teleporting. That's a horrible analogy. They're nothing alike. Because one's a boat and it teleports. The other one's a time machine. This guy gives us the fishing rod. No? No? Yeah, there we go. There we go. The old rod. I'm just going to pick it up. All we can get is magic carp. And, um, that, that, I don't even know why I came back here, because the old rod, all you can get is magic carp. Except, uh, Golding doesn't have any legs either. Uh, let's go to Slateport, though. Uh, let's see here, let's see here. Tentacool has no legs. Yeah, Corefish is, like, the only fishing Pokemon that I think has legs. I'll have to look that up. Because, uh, if we can fish, that'd be definitely be good. But this whole leg lock thing, the main thing it does, I guess, is makes my encounter rate, like, the amount I can catch a lot less, a lot, a lot less. I don't know which routes we've missed, but I think, I think I'll keep track of it from now on. Because it has been so long since we've done this. We can go ahead and start going up, and, oh gosh. We to battle May. Oh, gosh. We've done that already. Uh, yeah, we faced Team Rocket. Team Aqua. Team Magma. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's, see, let's see what that is. We can't see what that is because we're in a battle now. Um, It's completely fine. That's completely fine. This is a plusle, and we can kill it, hopefully. Because Thundershock doesn't do anything to my ground type here. And we can go ahead for the scratch. There we go. And that did absolutely nothing. I'm going to go for the Leech Life because it's Stab. That did about the same. But it's worth it just to get fast, fast some experience. Level 12 would be nice. I wish I had like a speed up button on the 3DS. That'd be cool. But <laughs> I'd way overuse it. I was going to use a Sand Attack, so I'm glad I didn't because I know where else I'd be on cord now. Can we get, like, a crit? Because that'd be nice. Because this is just getting annoying. We're already three PP in. <sighs> fast, fast isn't good very now, but once it becomes a Shed Ninja or Ninjask, it's going to be powerful, let me tell you. I'd prefer Ninjask almost because of the HP deal. Because, like, if we have the Ninjask and gets hit by one Flying-type move, it's dead. One anything. It's dead. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. What would be nice would be a Focus Sash. Because then we could see if they have anything, and then switch out if we need to. But the most OP thing would be Sturdy. If, if we had, like, a randomizer, and we got a... Shed Ninja, I was just talking about it. I forgot the name for a second, though. Was Sturdy? That'd be game over. We'd win automatically, because it can never die. Never die. Might take millennia's. <laughs> Might take millennia's, but we could. We'd always win. We'd always win. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna battle these people. I don't think I need to, but I could just save this for a grinding, grinding thing. I don't do montages, obviously, but Daisy, Lady Daisy with the Roselia. I have a shiny Roselia. It's beautiful. It's actually a Roserade. I love it to death, but I think we can go for ahead for the low oh, switch. That's what I said. I said switch. I'm not at all trying to say attack there because it's level 17. I really need to grind. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. So much grinding is needed. Because a couple of level 11s and I'm going to be facing the um, the May there with the, the fire type. I'll get Molly Wop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I already face May? I already faced May, didn't I? I forget because it's been so long. I hope I faced May already. I don't have to face May again. Oh, my goodness. If we've already faced May, then that's like a dream come true. But that makes sense because where did where would have the zigzag goon gone or whatever? No, zigzag goon's in the box. Taylor, where would have Taylor gone? I, I'm already forgetting what Pokemon I had. That's why you don't take breaks when you're doing LPs. You you do it all in one long month or whatever, how long it takes you. This is a very stolly battle, but if it's doing that much, I might as well go for the Giga Drain, Mega Drain. 
I know it's quad resisted. Yeah, that wasn't. Uh, I was thinking quad resisted. I could even do decent, but that did like four. Whereas his is doing six, so that's that's not fair. It's not fair. Speaking of not fair, I actually damage calculated the thing in the battle the other day. This is completely irrelevant and off topic. My Aegis Slash lived at 3 HP. Oh. You're saving that just so you could surprise me? Get me down to 7 HP? Um, I calculated it, and I only have potions. Oh, gosh. If I lived at 6, I would be able to bulk that Giga Drain. Mega Drain, whatever. And I thought that was pretty significant. I thank you for the Mega Drain. I think right now it's going to be safe, because he... I think the only way you could kill me is if you get a crit and poison me with the poison spike thing. Uh, I could use another potion, but I'd rather go for the Petra. There we go, there we go. Poison sting. Oh no. Fishtail. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Fishtail. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna go potion until it... I'm... Oh my goodness. I am so lucky right there. Why is this Roselia so hard? It's a tryhard Roselia. At least I'm not toxic, so I, I won't get more, even more and more, or else I'd just switch out. Can I learn Thief with this thing? I should just teach him Thief over, uh, Pursuit. Stop with your poison stings! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna use another potion. And I'll get up to 35. His damage will bring me down to, like, 29 poison. I'll be safe to use a Petra Berry. 27. I didn't expect to go for a poison sting. Yeah, I'll be I'll be completely safe for a pitch berry unless if it's a crit. And if it's a crit and poisons, then oh my goodness, I uh, fish leg wasn't meant to be. If that what if that's what happens. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go for another potion just to be safe. I know we're probably running low on money and all. There we go, 33. Poison sting, no crit, no poison. There we go, okay. Now we can just go for the quick attack, and that will be the, that, that will be that, I hope. Yeah, there we go. That was a crit. Thank you, thank you, Fishtail. You're, you're so great, you're so great. If without you, I don't know where we'd be right now. Level 12, there we go. There we go, level 12. My aroma. Oh, that was... Why was the Roselia so hard? That took like three or four or five minutes. Just, just Roselia, no. Please, no. I mean, I know, you're, I know your stab is super effective against me, but still. I... Uh, I'm speechless right now. I'm going to go ahead and heal if I can actually walk in there. And, oh my goodness, I was so scared right there that fish tail would die. Oh my, oh my golly gosh. Um, we're gonna go ahead, and I think we beat May, now that my memory's serving me right. And we can go ahead up there, and we can get our bike this episode, and maybe fight the, the, the kid named Wally. Wally would be great at a battle. Um, definitely though, I gotta do grinding. Oh my goodness, I just gotta grind until I'm level 89. Not really, though, more like 19. Let's see who we fight. Uh, who is a gulpin? I was about to say a shiny gulpin. But, oh, if it was a shiny gulpin, we'd be catching this thing. Gonna go ahead for the scratch. The scratch, that's pretty good. Gulpin is defensive, so I didn't think that'd do very much. You're really gonna poison gas us? I'm about done with these poison. <laughs> Getting poisoned. 
I'm going to go into Simba, and I'm going to Thunder Wave it. I want to level up these two lower levels so much because I know they'll be a great help. Simba will be a lot of help in the gym because, 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 because it's an electric type, so we can safely switch out onto it. Because we have that one thing called Lightning Rod. There we go. And we got Thunder Wave, which is great. Which is great for catching Pokemon. It's going to go for another Amnesia, which doesn't really matter because that is your special defense stat. And we can go ahead for the Thief, because Thief is better than Quick Tack. There we go. That'll take... Oh, oh, oh Sticky Hold. This item. You're, you're yawning me. Are you trying to... Oh, gosh. He's trying to force the switch. I'm going to go ahead and fish leg. I really didn't want to, but if it comes down to it, I don't need someone to be asleep, truthfully. It's just another trip to the Pokemon Center I don't need. He goes for the sludge! Oh my goodness, that's powerful! Probably should have rocked him there, because that would have done more. Citrus berry. Oh, Ooh, that's good. Orange berry. <laughs> Citrus Bay. I'm going to go ahead for the Rock Tomb, though, because I think that will kill from that range. And it does. There we go. 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 We can go ahead and get all that experience and use a Petcha Berry and a Potion. Because I, myself, am too lazy to go back down there. But where is the Potion? And the ber ber the Berry Bag. I like how they have a bag dedicated to berries, because berries can't just be classified as medicine or items. And we did not grab this Pokeball. If we haven't fought May yet, then I'm... Oh my goodness, then I don't know how I'm going up here. No, I feel like we lost Taylo to Brawly, but we can go ahead and Sand Attack. He's going to go for the Howl, so our Sand Attack is valid. What level is this thing? If it's level 12, I'm going to cry because we could have had ours at level 12. It's level 13? We could have had a level 13 on our party already. But no. We had to catch the level 11 one. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. It's all good. And it's all Rosie and Jake. I was trying to look for a saying there. It's going to go for Lear. I just don't want it to hit, but it keeps on hitting its moves. There we go, actually fell, and I'm going to go for the Leech Life. Let's see how much I can do there. Stop with your howling and whatnot. I'm going to switch so I don't get O-Code by this Tackle or Quick Attack here. I'm going to, I have to switch. I don't want to get O-Code. I'm going to switch into my own Simba. And go for Thief. Go for Thief and Quick Attack and Thief mainly. It's quick Attack just to outspeed if you get low. Going for the Leer, but I avoided it, thank goodness. And we can go for the Quick Attack of our own. I don't know why I went for the Quick Attack. That's about to do nothing, so he's going to go for the Spark. And that raises my special attack, and I have so many special attacks. But I'm all of a sudden excited to level up, because we'll get Spark. Because if it's level 13 and it has Spark, then we must get Spark around that level, or level 12. And we'd get a Stab move, finally. That'd be great. I almost wish that we had a. I can't remember its name. What's that one physical electric type? Luxray. I love Luxray. He gets guts, flame orb, facade. Oh gosh, that's so powerful. I wish I had a special attack. So that's what it's going to be like in the gym, pretty much. It's going to be like special attack here and a special attack there. Ellen's going for the, oh, Thief and Quick Attack, it'll do nothing in the gym. We need, like, Rock Smash. No, that'd be horrible. What item is this? Dire Hit. I feel like there's a good chance that we skipped it. I really hope that we did. I'm gonna... Oh, we haven't fought this guy yet. That makes sense. Oh, if you guys are sat there, like, I might want to save May for the next episode, because 20 minutes in, we didn't really get much accomplished, but I'm just sat there, and if May is really, we haven't fought May yet, I'm going to go literally check right after this video to see if we have. So I don't want to go and face May next episode. I just want to do this trainer battle here first. 
Hopefully he doesn't have like Fire Fang or some obnoxious sin attack. Really? You really want to do that? Uh, no, I was going to go into Simba, but... I'm going to stay in and go for another Leech Life, and if I miss, then I'll switch. Can I? There we go, there we go. Is he... He's going to howl. And then I'll go for another Leech Life of the sort. Leech Life. There we go. There we go. So, guys, uh, just stay after this episode. I'll probably start grinding some. And when I'm grinding, I'm probably going to go back to, like, the trainers with the soda pop and whatnot on the beach. And the ones on this route up to Armea's and the one on the route to the left. So if, like, you ever see me walking back there and whatnot, and I I'm not, and the trainer's not enacting a battle and I haven't fought him yet, that's probably because I've faced him in a grinding session thing. So don't worry, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. So that's dead Pucciana. And... Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sad that we didn't get much done this episode, but it's kind of like getting back into it, I guess, is what this episode's all about. It's like, what Pokemon do we have? What moves do they have? Where do they stand in strength? I guess that's kind of what this episode was. But he's going to send on Aeron, which I don't want to handle with Fishtail or, or with Fast Fast or Simba. So I'm going to switch out into Fishtail here. And we can go ahead and Oko with the Mega Drain. Because that's what we do. That is what we do. He's going to mud slap to lower accuracy, which is a bit sad. But that does absolutely zero damage. No doubt about it. Because it resists and it's base 20 power. But obviously we're going to miss our attack. And he's going to go for that headbutt. Luckily he's not faster than us. He's going to avoid again just from one accuracy lower. Oh my goodness, this episode's going to mainly consist of that Roserade battle, the Roselia battle, not even a Roserade, and this one if I keep on missing. Oh, and also that wild battle with the Gulpin and that wild battle with the, this is pretty much just like battles. It's not even like important battles, it's irrelevant ones. And he goes for the middle clock I miss. If I'm going to miss again, I'm going to start crying here. Oh, I didn't miss. There we go. And the Aeron is dead. Guys, everyone. Aeron is dead, so that's good. That's a good joyous thing. Because since Aeron is dead, that means that we're not dead and that we're living. And he's going to go into his own Electric, which will let me switch into Fast Fast. And then I can switch over into Electric Simba, that is. Because, because he's probably going for an Electric type attack for some reason. And, oh gosh, 14. I hope he's not going to go for like a quick attack. I hope he's going to go for the Spark, because Spark is stabbed, so why wouldn't he? He goes for the Quick Attack and, like, gets a crit. He goes for the Leer, which scares me a bit. But I'm going to go ahead and go for the Thief and see how much that can do. I'm going to go for the Quick Attack. That does too much. I'm going to switch into my higher level. The Fishtail, level 21. 21. Um, yeah, so... That's all good and dandy, and I think this battle is going to be a wrap, and I'll go ahead and save, and when we come back next time, guys, when we come back next time, Pokemon will probably evolve, because I'm going to get them all up to 20, which means an Encada will evolve. I don't know what level Electric evolves at, but if it evolves by then, then it's also going to be evolved, and yeah, that's why we'll have a the, the thing, the other thing also. I might just save Nikata's evolution for the beginning of the next episode, like, have it, like, five experience points away. Because that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I guess that'll be it, guys. And I will see you guys next time. I'm out.